G'day, welcome to LearnABPFramework.com. My name is Vineet. In this course, we will learn how to build the Bookstore application using MVC Razor Pages with Entity Framework. This course and its lessons are based on the 10 part tutorial series on the ABP documentation available at docs.abp.io. Thanks to the guys behind the open source ABP framework from Volosoft. I'm sure you guys must be eager to get started, so let's create a acme.bookstore solution using the ABP CLI. Let's open the Windows Explorer and navigate to the folder where we will create the solution. We will open the command prompt and then we will install the .NET global tool, volo.abp.cli. Or in my case, since I've already have it installed, I will update my .NET global tool by typing .NET tool update dash g volo dot abp dot cli Now that our abp cli is up to date, we can use the command abp new acme dot bookstore dash t dash csf app the dash T in this command stands for the template. CSF is for creating a solution folder and the app means that we are creating a web application. We could also use different levels of namespaces e.g. just bookstore or acme.bookstore or acme.retail.bookstore to organize our code into logical groups and to prevent name collisions that can occur especially when our code includes multiple libraries and potentially other modules made specifically for the ABP framework. Both options, dash T and app, are default if not specified. So we can just run ABP new acme dot bookstore dash CSF. Let's use this command to create the solution and its relevant folders in the directory we are in. If you want to learn more about the ABP CLI and its commands and options, then take the premium course exploring the ABP CLI. Let's open the solution in Visual Studio and see what it compromises of. You will see that the solution template provides a layered application structure based on the domain driven design DDD practices. Based on the options we have specified, this solution template uses the ASP.NET Core MVC with Razor Pages for its UI framework and Entity Framework Core as its database provider. Projects are organized in the SRC and the test folders. The SRC folder contains the actual application which is layered based on the DDD principles as mentioned before and the test folder consists of the integration tests. If you want to learn about the solution structure, then watch the quick win, let's explore the ABP application solution structure. For now, we will run the solution as is. Let's check the connection string. We can see that the solution is using the database name Bookstore and a trusted connection. Since this solution is using the Entity Framework Core as its database provider, we need to have a MS SQL server installed on our development computer. Watch the premium course setting up your development environment for ABP to set up your computer with all you need to build applications and modules using the ABP framework. You will notice that the solution has a dot DB migrator project. Let's set this project as a startup project and run the solution. This has opened the command prompt which has applied migrations and also has seeded the initial data into the database. This project is very useful in both development and production environments. Finally, now it's time to run the application. We will ensure 
that the dot web project is set as the startup project and we will run the application without debugging as this will be faster we will then see the login page in our browser In this lesson, we have created the solution and ensured that we could run the ABP Framework Startup Template. Join me in the next lesson to create the book entity in the domain layer.